Hi? No, it's not about singing and it's not about drinking either. Today we're going to talk about history. Let us sing story. A story of a very important national sorcerer, famous all over Brazil. His name is Sassi Perere. Sassi is a character of the Brazilian folklore. He is a one-legged black or mulatto youngster who smokes a pipe and wears a magical red cap that enables him to disappear and reappear whenever he wishes. Usually in the middle of a dust devil. Do you know what a dust devil is? Dust devil is a strong, vertical, well-formed wind. Considered as a knowing prankster, in most parts of Brazil, and a potentially dangerous and malicious creature in others, he nevertheless grants wishes to anyone who manages to trap him or steal his magic cap. However, his cap is often depicted as having a bad smell. Most people who claim to have stolen his cap say they can never wash the smell away. In 1917, our famous writer Monteiro Lobato launched a campaign all over Brazil in which he asked readers to send him stories of Sassi Perere apparitions. Thanks to that campaign, we have today one of the many classics of our greatest writer of children's literature, the book O Sassi. It is in the countryside of São Paulo, in a wonderful city called Botucatu, where the headquarters of the National Association of Sassu Breeders, ANCS, is located. Botucatu is not playing games, my dear. They have hats, they have shirts, they have stickers. They take that very seriously. The association strives to make October the 31st the day of Sassi. I think it's a fair course, don't you? There are contests for the best story of Sassi's apparitions. Do you know any? Please let me know. Write it down in the in our after you listen to me please legend has it that if you are alone in your room at night and you whistle like you're calling the sassy and he appears how would you feel about that Boo!